What is up you guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is just going to be all my designer pickups. I decided to split this video into two different parts, designer and vintage, because I just picked up a lot of things. I don't want to put out like a 20 minute video because I know everybody's attention span has become way too short from TikTok for that. There's a couple things that aren't considered designer brands, but they're still in this video because they're not vintage. So anyways, I'm just going to get on with it. First up, I got a hoodie from Marcel Everett. This is the Overlock Stitch hoodie. I got it in this gray color. They had a gray one and a black one and I was kind of torn with the two but i ended up going with this one just because you can really see the contrast stitching all over it's just a really clean look you can see it all throughout the hoodie it even has it like on the edge of the hood in the back as well obviously the hoodie is not held together by these overlock stitches but it is a really cool detail another cool detail about this the hoodie pocket has a zipper pocket inside of it. I used to have another hoodie from them that was like a zip up hoodie. That one was a terry fabric. This one is actually a fleece. Really comfortable, very cozy material. I've been wearing this a ton recently. It's a little bit oversized. It's not too boxy or anything. I got a size two and I'm 5'10 for reference, but I probably could have gotten a size one and it would have fit a little better. If you guys know me, you know I love my gray hoodies. I'm wearing one right now. Next up, we got a jacket from Arcteryx. This is the Serum LT. LT stands for lightweight. How warm this jacket is for how lightweight it is just does not make sense. Definitely my lightest jacket and it's probably one of my warmest jackets. Another cool thing about this is it packs up into a little pouch. It's like the size of a potato. Literally, you can just pack it up in your backpack. I went camping this past week with my friends. It definitely came in handy because the first night it was 39 degrees, so I just slept in this and it kept me warm. This jacket usually retails for 360, but I ended up picking it up at REI for 200. If you guys were ever looking for some Art Terex for a steal, I would definitely recommend going to your local REI. Some really good prices on Solomon, Art Terex. A lot of really nice stuff for like half off just because it's been used a tiny bit. So I got a really good price on this and I'm super happy with it. Next, I'm gonna show some pants. These are a pair of pants from a brand I've never heard of. I went on grilled and sorted to Japanese brand and these came up. I think it's pronounced Hu Hao Gong Shi. I've never heard of the brand before. I don't think it's a very popular brand, but there's this one seller on grilled that just sells a ton of 3D pocket pants. I'm pretty sure his username handle is just 3D pocket. These were just my perfect measurements. They're 29 waist, 32 inseam. They have these really cool 3D pockets on the outside with these zippers, slight flare at the bottom. They just fit really cool. I've been wearing these pants like twice a week. I've been wearing these a lot with my Yeezy boots and also my A6 boots uh, they just grew up really nicely with those i meant to show these when i showed my jacket but i also picked up this arcteryx long sleeve right here i didn't have any long sleeves and i needed just like some athletic shirts i bought this one in green it's really soft material not really much to say about it feels kind of silly to show you guys a t-shirt with a logo on it not going to talk too much about these but i also got a black one uh, this one's a short sleeve. Figured I'd show them to you guys. I know everybody just loves Arcteryx. These next two pairs of pants are sent to me by a brand called Science Project. These first ones are an all black pair of denim. They're just like frayed all down the inseam and the outseam. And then also on the two back pockets right here. Has a little Science Project patch there. I think these are a 34 inseam, so they stack up on the shoe quite a bit. But you can't go wrong with a pair of black denim, and it's cool that they have some details that make them stand out. The other pair of the pants that they sent me were these green cargo pants. They just have these massive pockets on the side with these big flaps that can button. So you can fit a bunch of stuff in these pockets. Um, these are also, I think, a 33 inseam, so Pretty long pant and they just stack up. These pair up really nicely with the Yeezy 950s. It's really baggy, big pockets. Everything's kind of oversized on the pant it seems. And they're just made out of this really thick, durable feeling canvas material. They are a little bit big on me, but it kind of looks cool when they just bag up over the boot. Big thank you to Science Project for sending these pants over. I really appreciate it. I'll leave a link to these pants down below so you guys can go check them out and purchase them if you'd like. Next up, I got this jacket from Julius. This is called the Distress Riders Jacket. This came out in spring, summer 2010. Lots of distressing going on all over. These like darting seams that run up and down it are really sick. It has a two-way zipper so you can zip it from the bottom up or from the top down. The zipper is like this gunmetal color and it just really pops out on the faded gray wash denim. On the wrist it has zippers as well and then more distressings as you can see there. Fits a little bit cropped in the body but not too cropped. The arms are really skinny. This is the most form-fitting jacket I've probably ever owned. It just fits me like a glove. It is really tight but I really like the way it fits. It's not the most comfortable thing to wear but when it's unzipped it's not that bad. Also the collar is really really cool in this. I just like the way the collar sits. I'm really happy to have this jacket. This is definitely my favorite piece in my wardrobe right now. I completely forgot about shoes. First shoe I wanted to show you guys was these Solomon XA4 
horses. These are very similar to the XA 3D Pros I had. They're really just a chunkier Solomon shoe. Not very flexible, like as you can see, the shoe is super stiff. I haven't really broken them in yet, but they are Gore-Tex all throughout, so the whole shoe is waterproof. These have a lot more tread than my old Solomons did, like they're just grippier. They're definitely more geared towards actual hiking and being outside. Down the side of the shoe is like a felt suede feeling material. Water just kind of beads up on it. The one thing about this shoe that kind of throws me off is the tongue. It just fits really weird. It's like super small. I don't get it. Like I said, definitely not as comfortable as some other Solomon models, but they are a bit chunkier and a bit more durable feeling. The only other shoe I have to show you guys is these Bottega Veneta tire boots. These are a boot I've been looking for for a while. I just couldn't find them in my size for a good price. Mark Boudelier was selling his pair and I saw him on his story and it was a really good price, so I decided to pick them up. A big shout out to Mark for throwing that steel. They probably look just plain white on camera, but it's more of like an off-white cream color almost. And then they just have this black midsole with the signature little swirly thing that Bottega does. And then they just have this big, chunky translucent sole. Whenever these shoes are like brand new, the sole appears more of like a blue color. But since these have been worn in a bit, now it kind of has more of a green hue to it, which I honestly like better. These boots are pretty much impossible to wear with slim pants. It just looks really goofy. It makes your feet look massive. But I've been wearing these a bunch of like my post archive faction pants, like anything that's just a baggier pant. Also, my favorite part about these shoes is that when I wear them, the sole in these is like two and a half inches thick. Definitely pushing six foot one, which is awesome. For some reason, everybody thinks that I'm like six foot two, but I'm five ten. I promise. If you catch me in the Bottegas, I will be over six foot. Uh, this is kind of random, but I bought this Elite's t-shirt. It just has the little logo on the front and then the big print on the back. I typically wouldn't buy a shirt like this, but I was at this designer pop-up at this warehouse. They were just getting rid of a bunch of stuff and it was like all 70% off. So I got this for like 40 bucks. I do like Elite's as a brand. They make a lot of really cool stuff, but I wouldn't just go out and buy a t-shirt typically. I wear this the same way I would wear any of my black vintage tees. I just showed them briefly in my last video, but these are a pair of 4.0 Technical cool pants from Post Archive Faction. As you can see, the details are just insane on these. They are a little bit big on me, but they're just really baggy. They pretty much sort all their clothes into three different categories, left, right, and then center. That's supposed to be ripped off like that, but they pretty much sort all their products into those three categories. All of their left pieces are really out there, really experimental, more unique cuts, crazier colors. The center garments are kind of a mixture between experimental and a typical like standard fitting traditional garment. And then all the right stuff is just more standard fitting, nothing crazy going on. Obviously these pants are a left garment. You can tell by just how much is going on with them. Since these are a little bit big on me, I'm probably gonna sell them and buy a pair of pants from them that do fit me a little bit better. So if you wanna buy these, definitely let me know. I'm just shooting a DM on Instagram. These were a size 32 and I'm like a 29 waist so I just really gotta yank the belt tight when I put them on. I think that's gonna do it for all my pickups. If you made it to this point, I really appreciate you watching. Don't forget to drop a like, drop a comment, let me know what kind of videos you guys wanna see. Like I said earlier in the video, I'm gonna be doing my vintage pickups video next week. Definitely keep an eye out for that. Also, don't forget to follow my Instagram. I changed my Instagram username to goodjobthomas. I'll put it on the screen, but I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.